Hello, welcome to my another session. In this session, I have a talk about the structure and the function of the human testes, especially the internal structure of testes. This is the second part of the human reproductive system. As you know that a pair of testes present inside the scotral sac. So these testes are ovoid body, olive shaped structure. The length about 3 to 4 cm and width about 2 to 3 cm in structure. So this is the ovoid or oval shaped structure and very small egg like structure. This testis, it has three layers. The outer layer, which is the double layer structure, and this is the layer of peritoneum, or this is the the outer layer is the tunica vaginalis derived from the peritoneum. So this is the double layer structure tunica vaginalis. Inner to the tunica vaginalis, there is the another layer and this layer is known as the tunica albuginia. The tunica albuginia is the white fibrous connective tissue layer. This tunica albuginia extends into the matrix of the testes and testes is divided in divided into 352 300 numbers of testicular lobules so this is the tunica albuginia which extends into the matrix of the testes and the testes is divided into 352 300 number of compartments and these compartments are known as the tuni the testicular lobule so so these are the Compartments, these compartments known as the testicular lobules, testicular lobules. And these extension of the tunica albuginia, these are known as the septum or Trabiculi. The number of the testicular nobules is the 250 to 300 numbers. Each testicular lobule contains 2 to 4 number of highly packed tubular structure known as the seminiferous tubule. So, these red colored coiled tubules are the seminiferous tubules. This is the factory of sperm production. So, these seminiferous tubules inside the testicular lobule fused to each other which forms a single duct and comes out from the testicular lobule as a tubulus rectus. So the seminiferous tubules inside the 
testicular lobules fuse to each other and which forms the single duct and comes out in the form of single duct known as the tubulus rectus. These tubulus rectus connected to the tubular branching tubular branching system and which is known as the reti testis. So this tubular branching system is known as the reti testis. So this is the tubular branching system which is known as the reti testis. From the Reti testis, there are development of 10 to 12 number of dogs which enter into the epididymis and these dogs are known as the bhasa efforensia. Bhasa efferentia. This bhasa efferentia enter into the epididyme. So this is the uh, internal structure of the testis, and this is the longitudinal section of testis. If you take the transverse section, then we find the structure of the seminiferous tubules. So, let's draw the PS of testes. These are the seminiferous tubules. These are the seminiferous tubules. Now, this is the caught open in structure. This is the section of Testis, this is the transverse section of testis. Among the seminiferous tubules, there is the group of cells. These cells are known as the interstitial cells. So these cells are known as the interstitial cells. interstitial cells or leric cell. These leric cells or the interstitial cells are the source of the secretion of testosterone hormone. It is the one type of androgen hormone. These are the seminiferous tubule. This is the seminiferous tubules. This seminiferous tubule is lined by particularly tibodial epithelium. But among this tibodial epithelium, there are larger cells. So these are the larger cell. So this is the larger cell. And these are the tibodial epithelium. So the among the tibodial epithelium, there are larger cells. This larger cell is known as Sotoli cell. These Sotoli cells provide the nutrition to the developing sperm. That's why these cells, also known as nurse cell, and it also known as subtentacular cell, is the subtentacular cell. So by the these tibodial epithelium, these are the germinal epithelium. This is the 
जर्मिनल एपिथेलियम बाय द डिवीजन ऑफ सच जर्मिनल एपिथेलियम देयर आर टू टू थ्री लेयर्स ऑफ सेल्स एंड ईच लेयर of cells represent the represent the each step of the spermatogenesis process so you may say that this layer may be the or these cells may be the spermatogonial cell spermatogonial cells or these cell may be the primary spermatocyte or this layer may be the secondary or the spermatid or this may be the sperm so the inside the seminiferous tubule there is the production of sperm takes place and by the division of such germinal epithelial cell which forms the spermatogonial cell then the primary spermatocyte then the secondary spermatocyte then the spermatid and then the sperm so each layer represent the any single step of the spermatogenesis process so these are the seminiferous tubules among the seminiferous tubule there are the group of cells which is known as the interstitial cells or the leric cells so this is the internal structure of testes the testicular cancer this is very rare so the testicular cancer may occur in young stage but it is curable by the removal of testes so removal of testes is known as the orchidectomy orchidectomy means the removal of testes and this the removal of testes may applicable for the treatment of the testicular cancer and which is followed by the radiation and the chemotherapy thank you for watching